Uh, hi and welcome to our masterclass. Um, thank you very much for the Wing Chun Federation in Spain to invite us to show a little bit what we are doing. Um, I want to introduce myself. My name is um, Tana Erdogan. I'm the chief instructor for the International Martial Arts Alliance. We have few schools in Germany, few schools around uh, Europe. And today I have one of my best and highest uh, students here with me and he wants to introduce himself in Spanish. I'm Mateo Rodríguez, eh, instructor en jefe de Francia para el IMAA. Tengo una escuela en, en Estrasburgo y nada, estoy muy contento de poder participar como su tutaner en esta masterclass eh, que esperemos que sea de nuestro agrado. Yes, today what we want to show you is um, one of the most important keys for us in our uh, organization is how to adapt Wing Chun in a real combat or in a real fight. So we want to show you today the, the right distance, the right timing, um, the alignment of the body, the positions of the arm, how you have to move, you know, when you can move, when you have better you don't move, you know, all these little things that you, when you fight, you feel very comfortable and very safe, you know, and how you use really Wing Chun in a fight without adapting other, other styles. Okay, so I hope you will like it, I hope you will enjoy it. And let's start. Let's go. So uh, we want to show you in different ways, okay? So and with the ways how we how we train it, so you can build it up slowly, okay? So not immediately in once. First of all, we show you the alignment, the position, and the the, the, the alignment is the body to my opponent and the position of the arms to myself and to my opponent, okay? So alignment, position, this is the first one we show, and angling, yeah? So for this we move backward m many times, but this is only for the training method, okay? Don't forget, this is not how I want to fight, this is only how to become comfortable when I, uh, uh, when I have to fight. But for the training, I do it many, 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 many times, I need many, many repetitions, otherwise it's not working. And the advice for me, do it all the time, slowly, don't do it too fast. If you do it too fast, the body mechanic don't understand what you are doing. If you do everything fast, you know, it looks nice, but in the end, you cannot use it because the mechanic of the body have to learn it slowly, but with a lot of repetition, like I said, okay? So the first, what we are doing is easy, not that difficult, is Sifu Mateo, uh, try to punch me. You go more in this direction, yes. So see if Matteo tries to punch me, he gives me one, two straight punches, okay? And I go in position and in alignment, okay? So, and he only do these punches and he do it slow, okay? Slow punches and only this, he comes forward, I go backward, okay? And I show you how we do it. So, when I'm in position, I have one leg forward, I can stay like this, I really don't care, you know? So, one leg forward. Behind me is 6 o'clock, behind Sifu Mateo is 12 o'clock from my position, exactly different, opposite from his position. Next to my legs is 7 and 5 o'clock, okay, here, next to my legs. And when I go to an angle, I try to go to 5 or 7 o'clock, not to 3, 4, um, 8 o'clock or, or 3 o'clock or whatever, yeah? So these sides is... I don't want to go, okay? i explain you later why, yeah? Now I want to go in this direction. So when Sifu Mathieu attacks me, I have a position. Actually, also doesn't matter how the position is. You can put the arms very classical forward. You can put it backward. You can stay like this. Really, it doesn't matter. Important is the position and the alignment of the body, okay? So he comes very slowly. First of all, I go from my position to 7 o'clock, put my hands. My whole position is to him, okay? But I angle him. To his shoulder position. When he comes with the second arm, now I move to from my position to five o'clock. He comes and I change my arm and I move to five o'clock. See if Matteo comes again, I move again to seven o'clock. This is only for training. I change my arms and I move. Okay? So we do it again. Slowly, I'm in the position, boom, seven, five, and you see I switch my hands always. Important is that I don't do this one. Not this one, okay? Don't hit against his arm or something, because when I do this, then this head is okay, but this head is not okay now, yeah? But I explain this in the second part, yeah? In the second part, so, very important, 
very stay cool, stay calm, he comes, I do one, I switch to the side, two, three, and you see I walk always to four, uh, seven and five o'clock, all the time, okay? So this is the first idea what you think. The second is still in the first training method. The second is keep one hand forward, don't move the hands. Doesn't matter if you move it, everything has to be um, comfortable for you, doesn't matter. You can move right and left or you move only one hand, it really doesn't matter. Important is position and alignment, okay, this is important. So, he comes, now I do one, two, three, you see, I move, I have one arm in front, okay? So we go backward, now I do it again, one, two, three, you see, always in an angle. I do it with the other hand, I do the same way how I move, now it becomes different, yeah, but same way. So that means he comes, one, two, three, okay, you see, now I have this hand full, yeah, so. So that means it doesn't matter what you are doing, you can put this hand, this hand forward, doesn't matter, okay. So this is the first training part, the first training part, okay. Then after this, if you are safe with this, you do this many times, you start with the second one. Okay, now back to the second part. The second part is actually we do the same again, only that Sifu Matteo tries to hit me more. Okay, so the, he don't only give me two straight punches, he give me maybe one straight punch and then a hook, or give me two straight punches and then a hook and a hook. Okay, so actually really doesn't matter. Important is why you doesn't matter what is what what the opponent is doing is because of your alignment and your position. Okay? If it's matter, then your position, your alignment is wrong. Okay? I show you an example. If he gives me one punch, I go to this direction. So now this hand I can catch up. But when he fake this hand and then he gives me a hook. Now it becomes difficult, you see? So that means if it, this part is shorter and I have problems. In the moment when I have problems, that means the position and the alignment is wrong, okay? So no discussion here, it's wrong, that's it. Yeah? Not he's strong, he's fast, no, it's wrong, that's it. Okay, so what I do is first, I go in the position when he comes. So now from here, he can do more attacks, I really. really doesn't matter. Important is what I'm doing now. Okay? So it means when Sifu Matteo attacks and he only stay and switch the body, I stay still. You see? I don't move anymore. Yeah? So I put my hand forward and punch with this hand. Look, exactly this. We show again. We do one, boom, and then I'm here. So in this moment, I step a little bit, but go forward, stop because of the. You switch. <laughs> So you take yeah, yeah, yeah. one and boom. Bang. So here in this moment I attack and stop here because of this hand. Okay? So important here is that I, I do it wrong mm -hmm. from the position you are taking. The first I did good, the second I did this one and did here. Now it's okay, I catch him, but this hand now becomes difficult for me. You see? This means the position to absorb the power is now difficult. That means I have to be in a good position to him. So I'm here, he comes one, two, I hit here, and three, I can catch him here. Now I got him, okay? Same position, doesn't matter. Also a straight punch after that. Uh, straight, yes. hook, straight, yes, yeah, as example. <coughs> okay, I'm again here. One, he comes one, and a straight punch. Look. Yeah, yeah transfer. Doesn't matter about my arms. Important is that you know. That Sifu, he asked me, Sifu, how I have to attack you, and I said to him, doesn't matter, okay? So it really doesn't matter because you have to see that it works, yeah? That it works. Important is try always to catch my chin, okay? okay? Don't care about my arms, yeah? So he comes again, he comes one, two, now he, boom, he do this one, right? So my hand is here, but my position is okay. So mm -hmm. do it again, first one. Well, my position is good, and I pull. And I hit in this direction. So I take him with me. Okay? Because I can handle the situation. I can handle it. Also, I can do tanzo. Also possible. Doesn't matter. The technique is not that important. Important is my position to him. Slowly again, I do one, two, and now he's in. You see? Now I do chart this example. Yeah? So doesn't matter. Important is again, I'm safe. 
This is important, yeah? And this you can train many, 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 many times, yeah? So, we um, show you in a different way, okay? So, now I attack Sifu Mateo from here and, and I, I attack him with two straight punches and two hooks. Only that is clear that he is when he stays still in a good position. This is very important, yeah? So, I try to give him two punches and then two hooks, okay? So, actually I can do other things. Important is the position of, of Sifu Mateo. Come on, yeah. so, so, we do slowly, yeah? So, I try one, two, he's in the position. Now look, from here. And important, Sifu Mateo still don't attack me, yeah? It's very important. This is the third part, yeah? So, then from here I give him a hook, safe, he's good. Good position, doesn't matter. Yeah, I take this hand away, I give him straight punch, good position. You see, still in a safe position. Yeah? When he put his body wrong to me, then can be that the first one is good, the second one is okay, but this maybe is not good. Then he tried to catch me with this hand, now he comes from one mistake to another mistake. Okay? But when he is in a good position, safe. Okay? So now I show you your technique again, yes. and I show you what happens when he moves. So he don't he do one, two, three, four, and after one, two, he do move, move the body. Okay, he move the body. Yeah. So that means I have to face him. In the first attack, he comes. I do one like I did in the second. I'm here. Okay. Now he go to this direction. Me too. Me too. It's very important, okay? So I move with him. Not with again the first two. Yes. Two and not this please. Okay? He see Mathieu feels oh that's not safe. Yeah, he feels immediately it's not safe. Because this side maybe is good. This side 100 percent is not good because he can push me away with the punch. For sure he can push me away. Okay? So it means I don't twist it with him, I move with him. Okay, so this would be when he moves from left to right slowly, move only, don't attack, only move from left, left to right. I don't do this one. I don't do this one, okay? So when he moves to the side, I move to the side and back to the side. You see, I try to keep the positions to me. Yeah, not this one. This one can be uh, for a fake very bad, okay? And for this, we come now to the third part. So now I want to show you the third part from the training method. Okay, don't forget it's a training method. Yeah. So the third part is actually I don't want to do it half an hour. Yeah. So I don't want to when my opponent attacks me. I don't want to do a, 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 half an hour move backward because I'm sure that everybody is forward faster than backward. Otherwise we can run in the athletics backward, but we run always forward, right? So. That means forward is faster than backward. But what I'm doing is I want to catch him. So that means I have to attack the arms. The, it sounds wrong, but I need the attacking part. So when he attacks me, I have to attack him exactly in the same moment. I have only two, uh, the, the chance to catch the first hand or the second hand, but I don't want to give him the chance to make a third, four, five attacks, okay? Because more attacks he do, more difficult is for me. And the chance to hit him becomes less. So only the first two arms and then I have to I have to catch him. No? I have to punch him, yeah. But we change his side. So from here again, Simpatia attacks me and I show you what I what I mean that I am catching again with the uh, attack him again. So what I want to do is see what you attacks me. I still go in my position, you see, I go to, to seven o'clock. I go to 7 o'clock and then I do 1, when he comes now, I move maybe to 5 o'clock and in the moment when this hand comes, I do the lap and attack him, okay? Not after, so not this, he comes, 1, 2, now, because look, I move forward, he stays still, when I move forward and my opponent stays still, you know what happened? I go forward. And see Matteo too. Bah! This happened. For sure this happened. Okay? And this you don't want. 
So the, the yeah, what is one? Yeah, all the fakes one. This we explain now too. Yeah. So all all the fakes one can happen too. So that means he comes with the first one. I do one. The second I catch. You see, now I'm in this angle to him. I attack. Now after that I have to follow my attack. Important here is that I not I don't have to be too much greedy. Not wah, bah, 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 not this one. So I attack and stay cool. And you see, I move him and then I move. So I was here, I did my lap, attack, I move him, I move. Now see Matteo can attack me from all angles. That means he can attack me from here, I'm safe. You come back. So I'm here again. He can attack me from here, I'm safe. Okay, you see, I'm in a good position. He can come straight. I'm safe. So that means everything is clear. It's very important that the position is clear, not good for the first attack, good for the second, but bad for the third. Yeah? So this would be not good. Yeah? So this needs the absolute control of your movements. Yeah? So you do the head slowly, he comes, I do one, two, I have love. Now I move, you see, now I have the center. Now I can go forward. Now the training method here is, I give of course my partner the freedom to move and see what he move backward, try to hit me, I move forward and try to catch everything what he do, mm -hmm. that I don't do mistakes, yeah? So, we, first of all we do it in a good way, so that means I move forward, he move backward and he hit, boom, I catch him, come here a little, so again, yeah. so he do, I catch him. Then you move, ah, I move too, you see, move. So that means I move all the time, doesn't matter. So also you move backward, and I move forward, and he gives me straight punch, boom, and I still do it. Okay, so important is that I can handle the situation. Wrong is, I did the first foot, okay, the, the first straight punch, doesn't yeah. matter, one. I did the second foot, maybe the third. I did okay, now but I'm too close, you see, now, boom, shit, yeah, so it means I try to do it good, but I was too greedy, I come too fast inside, or a fake punch, yeah, very good boxer do this nicely, yeah, they make the first one and they, they put the same arm, the hook, so when, when I, you, I do it wrong, yeah, so you give me the first and then you, you take me with this hand and give me the hook, yeah? And I try to catch the, his arm, yeah? And I do this one. Bam! You see? So, it's so dangerous because I want to move inside, yeah? So, because of this, many people try to do something here, to add something. But it's not necessary. Because I have no position, I have no alignment. I need alignment, I need a position, and it's safe. That means when he attacks me, I go in this position. You see, so it's not, you can do the fake punch, yeah? doesn't matter, you know, but the position is the right way. Mm -hmm. So slowly again, I do one, two, you see, or um, don't uh, let me touch your first hand, okay, okay, because people do also the mistake that, that they do this one, huh? they, they try to catch the hand, yeah? and then when the hand is not there, all oh, they lose the balance. Okay, what you have to do is only the arm, you see, only the arm. I try to catch him, but only my arm, not my body, yeah? So I don't do this one, ah, yeah? So I only do with my arms, and you see, with my arms I can catch it. This is what you are doing in the dummy, you stay here, bam. This is the first movement in the dummy, it's not bam, this one, yeah? It's only bam, the arm, that means that I... Don't trust him, not to see material in person, my opponent, yeah? So I don't trust him, I trust only myself. If I trust him, it means I know I got his power to balance myself, then I do bam, and then wash it, yeah? And then I got this, yeah? And this would be not good. So it means when I'm here, I do hand, hand, that's it. And I'm in a safe position, it means it doesn't matter what the other hands do, I can catch also the other hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, okay? So this is a very important part. And this you train really, really relaxed. I show you with Sifu Matteo. I, I give you two punches and then you come forward, I go backward, okay? So slowly. So 
I do one, two, you do lap, punch, and you come forward slowly. Yeah? So I do one, two, you see, I go backwards if Matteo comes forward. Now I can do more. Now I push the hand away, he say pop, 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 and he comes again, you know? So, and then you move me, you move yourself, yes, and then I go, go. Important here is to see is he in a good position or is he in a bad position. Okay, this is important, yeah? So, when you attack me, yeah, you do one, I do this one, I'm here, you go backward, and then you try to do this one, this one, to push my hand, look, to push my hand away, this, this, I come here, and this side, yeah? You see, it doesn't matter. But what you are doing later for your training, you can add a lot of stuff inside. Important is, you have to be relaxed, you have to be cool, and the position has to save the techniques, not your f because you are fast or strong. No, the position has to do it. Okay? If the position can do it, then it's safe. Yeah? So then let's go to the last part of the training method. Okay? So um, now this is actually the last part how we how we have to build this training stuff. The first part we had the footwork. The seven, five o'clock, move, look for the alignment, look for the position, yeah? Look that you don't do much greedy. The second is uh, you can defend, you, you, you attack, you know? And the third, you go forward now with the attack. And the last one is actually the same like the third one, only that you don't lose your opponent when you go forward. Or do, don't do too much, you know? Don't do too close or whatever. At least you can train more fluently, yeah? Not, not fast, of course, in the end you have to train fast, yeah? It's, it's, it's clear, yeah? So you have to stress, you have to build stress, everything, yeah? But because you have to be comfortable under stress. Under pressure, under stress, you have to be comfortable. But now for the training is, is um, confidence. more confidence, yes, thank you. You have to build confidence. Otherwise, if you don't confident in the positions, if you don't confident with this training method, you will never do it in a fight. <laughs> That's it, yeah? Because you are not confident. If you are confident, then you can use it, yeah? And for, therefore, you have to do it slowly, okay? So, see what I do it again, but now we do more fluently. Not more fast, because otherwise it's too fast and you, maybe you cannot see it, yeah? But more fluently. That means, when see what attacks, maybe he attacks once and then he stops, or he attacks one, two, because he wants to, to, um, to, yeah, to, you know, to say, yeah, come to me, you know, to, how, how you say when you go fishing, I don't yes, know, yes, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, yes, you want to catch me, you know, you want to catch me, so this is it, and most of the time the people are not um, cool, because the center of your body has to be calm, that means when he attacks, most of the people do this one, just, and then they become too, you know, and this you have to press down, Low, yeah. So have to cool. It means tr uh, uh, trust on your positions, trust on your alignment. This is it, yeah. That means when see Matthias slow, yeah. Do this. You see, I go always in position because it's not the time to attack. The problem would be if you do this, and I think, and I think, and I think one, two, and in the third I attack him. Whoa! And then he do something else, yeah. So this would be not good. Don't be. Stay cool. Wait, wait. You know. Why not? Why not? Nobody say you have to attack him with the first. You have to punch him with the first. No. Stay cool, man. Stay cool. Yeah? So that means we do slowly again. We do, I do one. You see, I, I, I cover up myself. This is important. Not only... Not this one, yeah? Then it happened this one. Not, I don't try to hit his arm. I only cover up myself. That means when he come, you see, I cover up myself. I don't hit against his arm. Yeah? He hit against my arm. Okay? This is very important. Because if I want to do a pack, I have to do a pack. But this is not a pack. This is only cover up, yeah? Make it close. That's it. Yeah? Slowly, okay? You do one, two, three, boom. Now I'm here. Now I have to move in this direction. Okay? As an example. Or we do again two punches straight. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? And do one. No, with this two? Ah, sorry. Doesn't matter. So you do one, 
two, and then comes the second time. So I move one, two, and I catch him here. Now I move forward. Now it's difficult because it can happen that he opens the distance, yeah? So it means I come, he opens, I say, oh shit, and I want to run, and he kicks me, okay? So I lose it, and then I run inside, and this is not safe, not good, okay? It's not good to lose your opponent, you have to control him, but if you lose him, don't run, okay? Stop, stay, you did a mistake, stay. It's more safe, then go forward, and to hope, Maybe I can catch him. No, no, no. Okay? Better you, you wait for the moment. You do against the moment again. You do one, two, three. Now you look like I, I lose him. Shit. Boom. Now comes the kick. Okay? So we come a little bit here. So what can I do now? I lost him. This is actually not the training part. You have to train that you don't lose him. But I did it. Okay? Shit day. I did it. Yeah? So I, I lost him. Now the kick comes. So what, what can I do now? The first thing is, when I lost him, and the kick comes, I go again in my positions. I go again back to my position. This would be the first. Stay cool. You see that he moved forward because he needs the kick. You see, you, he, need the, he moved this leg first. Yeah? So in the moment when he moved this leg first, I go again in my position. I go back to my 7 o'clock. Or, when he comes, I kick two. So that means I'm in this position, he can't, boom, I kick him too, or I defend the kick. If I want to defend the kick, I have to lift up my leg, that means I'm in this, I lift up the leg, and then I go down, okay? So, but the, I don't want to explain now kick defense, yeah? But I only explain what you have to do when it can happen, yeah? But don't eat it. You can do it, but I think it's not good. So it means I lost him, and he wants to kick me, and I... Do nothing. So that means I eat the kick now. Bah! Okay? So and I, I hope man, I have to give the punch. You may be some people strong, they can do it, but always think a girl has to do it too. You know? So it has to be for everybody. Maybe maybe see what Mathieu can do it, maybe me I can do it, but I'm sure a lot of students cannot do it. So that means don't teach it. Yeah? Don't show them eat, eat it. No problem, man. Kick, kick. <laughs> that is, is, not, is not, not good. But important is, when you attack me again, uh, I'm here, I'm, I'm to the second, and he go backwards now, I follow him, and I stop again, you see? So, come on, a little bit out of the stomach slow, you know? So, I'm here, I do one, two, three, now, I follow and stop again, you see? Stop immediately. But not only follow, this is only for the training. When I follow him, I punch him, of course, when I go forward, yeah? So we do slowly. So I do one, two, three, four, five. You see, I punch him when I go forward. But I have myself under control. This is important, yeah? That he cannot leave it. That he cannot go to the kick or switch to the side. He can also do this one. Do it again slowly. So one, two, and I move now in a wrong way to him. I press too much and then you can use this end, okay? So I do this one and bah, shit. And I fall, you see? So this can also, this is the reason why you have to control yourself when you go forward. Not too much, not too less. Cool. And this is the timing what you need and a good feeling for the distance what you need, okay? That you can control your opponent. That, have, that means when I'm in this position, see when it comes one, two, three, and he goes, I'm here, and stop, and here. And then I can move and I can fight to him. And he feels, oh shit, I lose now balance. Okay? This is what you need. <coughs> and very short and very fast, of course. Yes? So this is all for how you have to do it. Slowly again, yeah? from the beginning. First was only punches and I only move from one side to another side you come again only, uh, only straight punches Sorry. so I do one two I only go from one side maybe I switch the arms only alignment position alignment position the whole the time the second is you do one two three attacks I stop I defend okay so he comes again I do maybe one I attack here I attack here I attack there okay so the, the next one was I move with him, I move forward, 
And the last one is don't lose him. So it means make pressure, but not too much. Yeah, it's like the cowboys. You know when they have the cows in front of him, they control the cows. That not one cow runs to the other side, or the the, the shepherd, you know, controls the sheep, yeah? So, that not one runs to the side, that means he controls him in this area. And this is exactly what you have to do, control your opponent, that he cannot break out. If you break out, that means you lost the control, and that means you can get punched, okay? That doesn't mean that you do, but you can get punched, okay? So this is all, all for how we, how we do it. Of course, we have a lot of more details when we do it, yeah? But in this short of time, it's difficult to bring everything inside, otherwise we, have, we need plenty of times. But this is how you have to do it. And gives you really, when you do it and you feel it, uh, gives you a big confidence yeah? in, the, in, the, in the positions. So, um, yeah, that's it from us. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoyed it. So it's not that um, too much action or too much movement, but um, we, we thought that is important stuff because it's missing in, uh, in a lot of Wing Chun um, training methods because a lot of fighters training distance and timing and, and also position and Wing Chun train this less or they put the energy in a different way and we decided that we put our energy in all directions. That means we train um, these positions also in Chi Zhao so that we can adapt everything what we are doing in Chi Zhao. We adapt immediately to a, a free fight that we can do it also empty hands without touching the hands, okay? So, like I said before, we have a lot of details inside too, but uh, in, in this short of time of period, I think I hope that we did everything what is important. I hope I forgot nothing. And thank you again for the invitation. Thank you to my student here, Sifu Matteo. And yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe we see us again. Bye bye. Bye bye.